Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at Jesus and the eyewitnesses by Richard Borkham. Uh, the Gospels as Eyewitness Testimony 2006. Um, we're, we're looking at some really heavy duty scholarship and that's what I hope to do on this site is we'll be looking at anything that about historical Jesus studies or anything that can strengthen our faith with good scholarship. Uh, this is what this channel is all about. <laughs> and we're looking at a book uh, that I read that I found a very help from one of the top scholars in this field of historical Jesus studies. Now, in uh, Balkan's book, he mentions um, uh, Polybius, um, and he quotes uh, on page ten. Um, Bayer, uh, Bayer Skog as uh, an academic scholar. Uh, he, he writes, having established the key role of the eyewitness testimony in ancient historiography, uh, Bayer Skog argues that a similar role must have been played in the formation of the gospel tradition. Page 10. Uh, Polybius uh, is one historian. Um, Um, Polybius was a Greek historian. Uh, we'll just get uh, some information here. Um, just get some information here. Uh, I've, I've studied this this writer, uh, but I, I haven't got my notes. I don't unless they're somewhere else or. Uh, yeah, Polybius is an ancient Greek um, historian noted for his work, The Histories, which covered the period of 264 to 1646, 146 BC in detail. Um, Polybius was born in Arcadia around 200 BC. He was the son of Lycritus, a Greek politician, and became cavalry commander of the Achaean Leagues. His father's opposition to Roman control of Macedonia resulted in his imprisonment. Polybius was then deported to Rome, where Lucius Aemilius Paulus employed him to tutor his two sons. Polybius had the opportunity to return to Macedonia in 152 BC. This is Wikipedia. Sorry for this. I have studied. Uh, Polybius primary source material not just Wikipedia um, see what I can get uh, Um, so, you can get, um, we'll just look at the Greek, Polybius histories, yep, we've got it here, so. Right, this is a uh, this is uh, how he writes. He, my history begins. This is the starting point of history. The history. This is in. Uh, this is in. Um, See what I just 
Sorry about this. He writes uh, in his histories. Had the prayers of history been passed over by former chronicles, it would perhaps have been incumbent upon me to urge the choice and special study of records of this sort as the readiest means men can have of correcting their knowledge of the past. But my predecessors have not been sparing in this respect. They have all begun and ended, so to speak, by enlarging on this theme, asserting again and again that the study of history is in the truest sense an education and a training for political life that the most instructive or rather the only method of learning to bear with dignity the vicissitudes of fortune is to recall the catastrophes of others. It is evident therefore that no one need think it is duty to repeat what has been said by many and said well. That's just a little bit of uh, Polybius histories uh, just to get some primary source materials so we're not doing shoddy work. Um, but the point is if you read Palabius, this is the point. Sorry for labouring this. Uh, let's just buy Skog, uh, Bayer Skog, Borkum quotes him. Having established the key role of eyewitness testimony in ancient historiography, um, Bayer Skog argues that a similar role must have been in the formation of the gospel tradition. So here's the point. What uh, some thinkers, historians did, is they looked at Palabius and they saw that Palabius, when you read his histories, he goes on, uh, midway through his book, he talks about, if you're going to be a good historian, he chastises bad historians, if you're going to be a good historian, you need to go and talk to eyewitnesses. And so, if there was a battle in your time, and you wanted to write about it as a historian, you were expected to go to the scene and talk to the people who, who who would have been there and this was standard practice amongst ancient historians uh, especially after the time of Palabius because he influenced this uh, kind of writing so what that means is when we come to the Gospels um, for example if we come to uh, the Gospel of Luke. He says, For as much, chapter 1, for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things that are most surely believed among us, even so they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitness and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all these things the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent Theophilus so when we read that it's actually very if, if not exactly the same the way Polybius, Polybius would see how to write history so what that means when we're reading the Gospels we look at it in its historical context the Gospel writers are writing as history they're using the typical methods that ancient Greek and Roman historians would use. That puts a big question on coming at the Gospels as if they're, they're uh, just myth. Because they're not. They're, 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 they're being written as serious uh, historical material as a testimony to the life of Jesus. And this is verified when we look at ancient writing ancient historiographical writing we'll get on to more of this